Craven's faster by far, and it, I, I tell you, he's got time. It's going to be it's going to be really exciting, really, really exciting. This racetrack requires everything you have in, in terms of concentration, and if you begin racing each other, you get punished for it. And that's really what happened with a couple laps to go. I yeah. forgot all about the racetrack and hitting my marks, and we started racing each other. Watch Craven, wrong with watch, right watch Craven on this end of the racetrack. Really gets off the turn four hard. Here he comes. He's there. I was thinking about it. I says, well, this one ain't too bad. We were pretty good shape. And then I was seeing Ricky coming, and I says, whoa. When I was going down the front straightaway, I'm looking in the mirror, and he went to my left. And I'm like, there's no way he's going to go into turn one and try to make the pass there. He's going to lift, and then he's going to try to squirt through on the short section yeah. between turn two. Come on. Side by side, two laps to go. Somebody's got to give getting into turn one. Nobody. And we went down, pounded the fence. I'm like, oh, it's on. And in the wall goes Bush. And then I was like, I got to your rear bumper, and I said, you know, no, this is, I just need to move you. I don't need to dump you because I don't need a yellow to come out. I yeah, just need to move you and get back. And I hit it perfect. I emptied the tank. I gave everything I had. And if you go back and watch coming off turn three, you couldn't have gotten your hand between the right side of the car and the wall. It was a 12 round bout and it was the last minute and we were just putting everything. It was like we did yeah. take the gloves off. And both these cars are driving terrible right now. Not nah. left to go. Nah, they're driving good. Neither one of them wanted to give an inch and, and didn't, but they did it in a way where they didn't take each other out. We took each other as far as you can. At a track that you're not supposed to be yeah. doing that on. Who's going to get off? Here he comes. Here he comes. He's got him this time. It's going to be a drag race. Whoa. They touch. They touch. Crap. Oh, even crap. Got him. I remember every part of it, and I remember that I didn't lift. I felt like we were going to wreck, and I guess by most measures, we did. We wrecked. If I remember correctly, the, the timing and scoring monitor put us on top. The radios were canceling themselves out because everybody was on hollering a spot or crew chief. I put the window net down and saw the 32 posted first. That, that was the confirmation. I kept trying to look and find the scoring pile on and it had the 32 above the 97. I was deflated for a second and then I'm like, no, 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 maybe they're gonna go to video. Yeah. You know, like uh, the, the horse race review. They're gonna go to tape and check it out. And Fenning said, we're second. I saw Kurt coming across the garage all by yourself and thought, I don't know how this is gonna go. And if we end up wrestling, I don't want it in front of my kids. So I walked out of, of Victory Lane and it's almost like the Wild West. We're going toward each other. And at the last second, Kurt goes, that was awesome. And we just celebrated. Getting a win at that level of the sport is always, you know, it's, a, it's an emotional experience. And, you know, everything that Ricky had been through coming back in his career and all the rest, I, I mean, it was, a, it was certainly an emotional day for him. I didn't know that it was as big of a moment at that time. I was defeated by a guy that outsmarted me and there was the respect side of it too with just two true racers and we threw everything and the kitchen sink at each other but didn't wreck each other and I liked that. It was an awesome race. I didn't give him one, room in one and he didn't give me room out of four. It's the way it's supposed to be. I was surprised how he took it but he took it just like a gentleman. He knew he drove his tail off to do that and focused on everything and it was a good race and for him to be calm that was a great thing. It was okay to lose because of the respect that we had for each other on the track. I have this respect for Kurt, not just because of that day, but I've watched him grow and be the person he is, but he's been very generous in reliving that last couple laps, and uh, and I really appreciate it. And uh, it's it's and been really a, a, a true joy to tell the story. In all honesty, though, I'm gonna tell it maybe 2,000 times, and I'm gonna gain those two thousandths <laughs> of a second. By the time I'm on a rocking chair one day, maybe I'll win it. One yeah. day, maybe I'll win that race.